Welcome to Catholic News World. Welcome to Catholic News World. Please subscribe to our channel. My name is Steph. Here are this week's breaking news headlines. The Catholic University of America announced that Jonathan Rumi, actor of The Chosen, will receive an honorary degree and be its commencement speaker. Award-winning actor Jonathan Rumi of The Chosen will serve as the commencement speaker for the 2024 graduation ceremony to be held on Saturday, May 11, 2024. Millions of people have had their lives changed for the better by Jonathan Rumi through his portrayal of Jesus Christ, his voice on the Hallow app, and in his many appearances where he advocates for the Catholic faith and the teachings of the Church, said President Peter Kilpatrick. Jonathan's work is a testament to how lay Catholics can use their God-given talents to deliver messages of hope, belief, and bring people closer to God. I am looking forward to welcoming him to the Catholic University of America and hearing his words of inspiration for our graduates and all in attendance. In addition to his work as an actor, Rumi is actively involved with his Catholic faith. A strong advocate of the sacraments, he has been a ministry leader and an extraordinary minister of Holy Communion. Catholic media have recognized him as a leader of the faith. In 2023, he was the keynote speaker at the annual March for Life. And on Super Bowl Sunday this year, an advertisement for Halo during the game featured Rumi and Mark Wahlberg reached millions of people, sparking interest in the Catholic faith. Speaking at the Catholic University of America's commencement is such an honor because I will be among those who not only value a quality education, but a college experience formed by the Catholic faith, said Rumi. I so look forward to celebrating with these graduates and sharing some insights into how one can live an inspired, fulfilling and faithful life using the skills, talents, and intellect given to them by God. The university expects to bestow nearly 1,300 degrees. The commencement ceremony will be held on the steps of the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception. The religious sister, Mary Roger Thibodeau, remembered as the Black Power a nun, has died at age 86. Sister Mary died on March 11, 2024, in Pennsylvania. Sister Thibodeau was born in Louisiana, in 1937, and raised in the Catholic faith at Sacred Heart of Jesus Catholic Church in Lake Charles, as well as the parish's elementary and high schools. Both were run by St. Catherine Drexel's order. Sisters Thibodeau's joined the order that St. Catherine Drexel founded to serve Native and African Americans. As a Sister of the Blessed Sacrament, she wrote a 1972 book on black power, and worked as an educator, national organizer, and evangelist. Sister Mary Roger Thibodeau was a veteran member of the Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament and she resided at Paul's Run Retirement Center in Philadelphia. The death announcement was first shared by her religious sister, Beulah Martin. My friend, sister, and woman of God, Sister Mary Roger Thibodeau, went home to God early this morning, she posted on Facebook. Sister Thibodeau entered her order in 1955 and made final vows in 1963 as one of its first black members. I have not ever regretted making the decision to follow the call," she said. In New York, as a nun, she taught at St. Thomas the Apostle School, part of a historic black parish in Manhattan. She also taught at All Saints Catholic School. Thibodeau was among several family members to enter religious life, including a cousin, Sylvia Thibodeau, who joined the Sisters of the Holy Family in New Orleans. Both would go on to represent a new era of African-American nuns during a black Catholic religious boom. In 1968, Sister Mary Roger became a founding member of the National Black Sisters Conference, one of the core organizations of the Black Catholic movement. Thibodeau made an impact with her 1972 book, A Black Nun Looks at Black Power, with her poetic reflections on the struggle for black freedom in America. The National Museum of African American History and Culture in Washington has a large monument that contains a quote from the book. Sister was a trailblazer when it came to evangelizing, said Sister Lynn Marie Ralph, on social media following Thibodeau's death. Truly an angel who has earned her wings. Catholic Relief Services, USA, announces its photographer in Gaza, Mohamed Rifi, was killed while waiting for food. They wrote on the their Facebook page. Our hearts weigh heavy today. CRS longtime contract photographer, Mohamed Rifi, was killed in Gaza City while waiting with other Gazan civilians for food aid to arrive. 
We are devastated. Rifi was more than a photographer. He was a kind and gentle soul that everyone loved. Through his lens, he bestowed upon us a world of beauty. He captured those we serve, our team and work at their best. Rifi was part of the CRS family. In the wake of loss, we grieve not only for Rifi but also for the 30,000 plus other Ghazans who have been killed. Let us honor the memory of Mohammed Rifi, that beacon of compassion, through the poignant lens of his photographs. The Archbishop of San Antonio, Texas, Garcia Siller has suppressed the alleged prophetic messages from the Mission of Divine Mercy. Archbishop Gustavo Garcia Siller removed the faculties of the priest, Rev. John Mary Foster, founder of the apostolate associated with the alleged messages. The MDM is not a canonically erected religious community of either diocesan or pontifical right, he wrote. The Catholic apostolate has been suppressed and revoked by an official decree on March 15, 2024. The Archbishop wrote, My dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I write to offer you guidance regarding the recently published alleged prophecies from Rev. John Mary Foster at the Mission of Divine Mercy at Canyon Lake, Texas. The Mission of Divine Mercy was granted status as an approved Catholic apostolate by Archbishop Jose Gomez in 2010. Rev. John Mary Foster, founder of the Apostolate and an incarnated priest of the Archdiocese of San Antonio, has enjoyed a special assignment to serve as the director of MDM. Although he had hoped the Apostolate would grow and the number of members would increase, this has not occurred. The Apostolate consisted of Rev. John Mary Foster, his biological sister and former religious sister Mary Foster, his cousin William Roderick, his nephew Joseph Jebia, and a non-family member, Araceli Granados Gantner. The MDM is not a canonically erected religious community of either diocesan or pontifical rite, and its status as a Catholic apostolate of the Archdiocese of San Antonio has been suppressed and revoked by official decree. Additionally, Rev. Foster's faculties to minister have also been removed as of March 15, 2024. The only stipulation I have ever requested of the MDM in order to prevent any misunderstandings and possible scandal was to refrain from publishing any alleged prophetic message until they were reviewed to ensure they were not harmful to the people of God. This stipulation was intended to protect the faithful since the alleged prophetic writings include many scandalous claims and false teachings. Until just recently, the members of the Mission of Divine Mercy have been obedient to my request. On February 28, 2024, Reverend Foster published an alleged prophetic message from a member of the MDM community. I contacted Reverend Foster the same day and requested that he remove the post on the website. On March 5, 2024, one met with Reverend Foster for more than an hour, praying together and discussing the false teachings contained in the post and Reverend Foster's oath of fidelity to the church and duty of obedience to me, which oath and duty he has reaffirmed each year. The next day, Rev. Foster posted a second alleged prophetic message. On March 7, 2024, I repeated my direct request to him to remove these publications from the MDM website and social media, to begin assisting in repairing the confusion, bewilderment and damage caused by these alleged prophecies. On March 13, 2024, the third alleged prophetic message was widely published. Rev. Foster, in the statement he posted on the website of the Mission of Divine Mercy entitled, We Must Obey God, outright admits his disobedience to Pope Francis and his ordinary. In his document Father Foster, in his own words and by quoting the alleged prophetic messages refers to Pope Francis as, the usurper. The Archbishop concluded by saying, Conscious of my duty to exercise governance over the ministries of the Archdiocese and prudently lead the Christian faithful of the Archdiocese. I cannot allow any further confusion and grave scandal to descend upon the faithful of God and so I have removed Rev. Foster's faculties for public ministry in the Archdiocese of San Antonio. I pray that Rev. Foster will work with me to repair the damage that has been caused and find a path forward for his ministry. Watch our program every Friday at 7.30pm. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Catholic News World Channel. God bless. Please subscribe to Catholic News World's YouTube channel. Thanks and God bless.